Hello, my name is Dr. Edmund Ng, and I'm the president of the Asia Christian Counselors Association. Today, I wish to give you a few simple tips on how to reduce your domestic quarrels at home at this time of restricted movements or lockdown during this COVID-19 pandemic. Having to recoup up at home in close proximity to our family members over extended periods of time can leave us bored and irritable. In many families, quarrels and conflicts can flare up even over very trivial matters. When the government offices of Wuhan reopened after their lockdown was lifted, it was reported that a very large number of couples went there to file for the divorces. So here are a few simple tips for you to relate better to one another in the family. First, instead of saying you, start your conversations with I. You sounds very much like pointing your fingers and accusing the other person. Saying I draws attention to what you're going through and gives room for the other person to be concerned with your situation. So instead of saying, you always say this, or you will surely do that, you can say, I am a little confused why we cannot eat noodles for dinner at night. Please help me to understand how this is so. Second, in any arguments, do not counter hard facts with hard facts or bring in the past incidences. When you counter with a hard fact or a past incident, the other party has to justify and defend with another hard fact or past incident against you. So instead of countering with a hard fact or bring in the past, resolve to stay at the present and focus on how the other person is affected emotionally. You can say, I do not want to tell you this because I don't want you to feel very sad over this matter. And third, if you sense that an argument is fast heating up and escalating out of control, then call for a time out. You can say, let us talk over this again during dinner tomorrow. Now for a harmonious and peaceful relationships in the family, the Bible exhorts us to submit to one another, husband to love his wife, wife to submit to her husband, children to obey their parents, and parents not to exasperate their children. Lastly, we can choose to go through this period of enforced staying at home, either miserably or productively. If we have the right attitudes and do what is right, we can emerge from this time as a better person and not as a bitter person. Instead, we can take this time as the best opportunity to draw closer to God. Pray more, read the Bible, and ask God to transform our characters to be better persons. Above all, stay home and stay safe.